Okay, this is gonna be a Tuesday morning rant because I'm a little pissed off right now. Maybe not pissed off is the right term, but I'm really irritated. So we have double left-hand turn lanes. And guess what? A lot of people have double left-hand turn lanes. And what really makes me mad is there's two major ones that normally fill up with traffic in the morning, every morning on the way to school. The first one is a double left-hand turn lane that goes into a road that about two and a half miles up the road, most people are gonna make another left-hand turn in another double left-hand turn lane. So as I'm rolling up, traffic is backed up and I'm looking at the light and the arrow turns green. Great, it's a green arrow. But I'm waiting in traffic, not in the double left-hand turn lane because there are cars blocking it because it looks like it's completely full. And as traffic's moving, I realize every single person except two cars are in the inside left-hand turn lane and only two cars are in the outside left-hand turn lane. Which means literally me and the six people behind me could have been waiting in the left-hand turn lane and have made the light. Except that when I get up there, it turns red. So of course I have to wait for another cycle of lights. So the reason why people are in the inside turn lane is because eventually, two and a half miles up the road, they're gonna need to get, they're gonna need to get over in the left-hand lane to turn, right? I understand that. But why can't everybody fill up the left-hand turn lanes and then merge over in the next two and a half miles? Instead, everybody just gets in the lane that they need to get in because eventually they're gonna to need to get in that lane. So it makes it so people are waiting two to three times longer. All right. So then eventually I turn, I'm in the outer left-hand turn lane and eventually I merge over. And when I'm, it's funny because I got two and a half miles and I literally pass like 30 cars that are in the left-hand lane to eventually turn two and a half miles up and I merge over and I'm ahead of all this traffic. It's it's amazing that, that people are, I don't know if they're just, if they're just so tired in the morning, they're just like, I'm just gonna drive and it's not a big deal, I'm just gonna drive. So I get up to the, another, to the other double left-hand turn lane and it's the opposite. The outer left-hand turn is completely full and you can see it, you can see, because it comes down like a slight hill, you can see that everybody is in the outside left-hand turn lane because eventually three miles up the road, everybody needs to make a right-hand turn onto another road. So because of that, everybody fills in the outer left-hand turn lane and nobody's on the inside. There's one car, one car in the inner left-hand turn lane. Now, if you realize how big these lanes are, probably 11 cars can fit in each lane, which means that there's one car on the inside lane, 11 to 12 on the outside lane, then a line of cars waiting to turn because they can't get into any lane. They can't get in the inside lane. Maybe they don't wanna get in the inside lane. Maybe they wanna stay in the outside lane because eventually they don't wanna to have to merge over. Literally, fucking three miles, three miles up the road, you need to turn. Why the heck can't you fill in the lane? It's like a roller coaster, okay? We're all on the same damn roller coaster. Just fill in the lines. Everybody wants to be in the front or in the back. Guess what? I just want to ride. I just want to ride. Stop blocking all the goddamn lanes. Just let me 